What's going on, guys? So today we're talking about another episode of Dueling Book Commentary. We have, in this episode, we have Cloud Strife 189 with 982 rating, 1863 experience, taking on Eric with 995 rating and 1434 experience. Um, so Eriark is probably playing some form of 60 card deck, which is really interesting considering Maximum Crisis is legal right now, which means Ghost Dash is legal right now. Um, and Cloud Strife is playing, I believe, True King Dinos, um, considering we just saw Trigonic Diagram and Fossil Dig. Um, so uh, my headset is in Allendale because I go to school currently in uh, at GVSU. Um, and like right now, school is out for the summer, so I'm right. in, uh, where I'm originally from. Um, so that's why this headset's here in the background a little bit different. Um, some pictures of me at graduation. I don't know if those are in the camera shot. Um, but anyway, we see miscellaneous source added via Vossel Dig. We see Dragonic Diagram popping Baby Sarah's source, so that's going to get a special summon. Um, along with the adding of Lithogasm, the disaster. I could have swore he had a 50 card deck. What's going on right now? Ah, I, okay, okay. That's what I thought. I was getting so confused. I like looked over there, went from 32 to 31. I was getting so confused. Um, so, Iriark is just letting um, Cloud Strife know that he doesn't have any hand traps. Um, in my opinion, um, because this is actually very relevant. On YGO Pro, it's not super relevant. But in my opinion, that is actually very relevant. Um, obviously, you would want to be like, after your opponent activates something, you say, hmm, or you think every single time your opponent... <laughs> maybe thinks that you have like a ghost ogre or ghost at, or ash blossom or a maxi and so your opponent's going to try to play around the hand trap that you're waiting to add activate even if you don't have one but at the same time you could get called for slow playing and that's just no one wants to slow play that's just obnoxious but anyway um we're seeing ov raptor uh adds a card uh adding Probably Baby Sarasaurus. Um, either Baby Sarasaurus or the other one. Uh, Lithogasm is going to pop two cards. Um, and he's going to be able to search. So uh, he's going to be able to look into... Um, what's his face's deck? What's his face's deck? Here he's extra deck. The two dinosaurs are going to summon out. Megalo Smasher. Make Bahama Shark, which is going to make it totally awesome. So now Eriark has three dead Brilliant Fusion, an already dead Gemini Garnet, um, and potentially three dead Instant Fusions. I don't know if there are any other targets. Um, Cloud Strife said Fusions, so odds are no, there are no other targets. Um, so we know that Cloud Strife has an indul ultimate conductor Tyranno in his graveyard. And I think he's coming out right now, actually. I meant his hand. I said his graveyard. I meant his hand. Because his effects during the player's main phase, right? You can destroy one monster in your hand or fields, change all of your monsters. So he's essentially a book of life that just works really well with the deck. There's also a, a uh, walking solemn judgment that can steal cards. Um, Yuri Yurk also Yuri Yurk also doesn't have Brilliant Fusion Live or Instant Fusion Live, um, but it is a 60 card deck. Um, so my guess is this is some form of Infernoid Brilliant Zoo is my guess, um, but it could just be 60 card Zoo, which doesn't sound good at all. It could be a form of Light Storm. Light Storm, actually, that's my guess. My final guess is 60 card Light Storm Zoo. That is my final guess. <laughs> so, um, Rat Pierre um, is going to normal summon himself. Hopefully, you're weak. That's another copy of Dryden. It's crazy the um, the changes we've seen in just just a couple of months of Zodiac. Um, Zodiac went from this tier borderline tier zero deck that was super busted. One card got limited. One set came out. One two structure decks came out, and all of a sudden the deck is lingering as the third best deck in the format. Uh, it's amazing to me. Uh, what has happened to it? Anyway, we're gonna see Rat Pierre come out. Bravo comes on top of 
What's its face? I don't know why I'm not gonna double. Growl comes on attack a tiger mortar. <laughs> I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. He's probably gonna detach and search. Um, and unless Eeryuk, Eeryuk, how? Okay, Eeryuk. We're gonna say Eeryuk. That's what we're gonna say. Unless Eeryuk has fire formation tends to, or I guess he could make Norden Emerald right now, but the Emerald's just gonna get negated. I don't know what Eeryuk's play is here. I don't know what's in his hand. I didn't know that he had a Zodiac Barrage in his hand. Because that's very relevant. That's a super relevant card. Um, Cloud Strikes letting that go through. Um, Zodiac Barrage's effect is actually going to activate. Um, when it's destroyed, it's going to attach itself as material to a Zodiac monster. And it's going to summon out Whiptail. So we're probably going to see either a Kagasuchi, Kagasuchi, we're going to see the Bujinti that uh, mills five, or we're going to see just a standard Agus Limo. Um, yeah, I think that was going to happen. Um, so we're actually before that, um, on the response to the summon of Whiptail, Ultimate Conductor Tyrannus is going to uh, destroy Obi Raptor. Flip all monsters Iria controls face down. What is this card? <laughs> what is this card? Konami, you know how to make good cards. Make good cards for Fire King. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> Iriak is forced, I believe, to end his turn. That's why he's setting cards now. Um, Toad's effect never ever occurred. <laughs> And that grass looks greener is dropped. That is no way that is gonna get that is <laughs> and Yur so Yuriak was just kinda like desperation to heave, Hail Mary, maybe he'll let this pass. I didn't see that coming, I didn't see that happening. Just too good of a first turn board, taking away the Seraphonite, taking away the Norden or not yeah, taking away the Norden, taking away the Dryden't, summoning on Daltimate. Ultimate Conductor Tyrannum, summoning out totally awesome, uh, and having a Bahama Shark and a um, an Ovi Raptor just for safekeeping. And the thing is, though, that's not like impo That's not super impossible of a start. Um, you got to think he opened Meltdown Fossil Dig. He didn't even search the Ovi Raptor with a fossil. He searched Miscellaneous Source, which we didn't even see the entire time. Um, so it's really easy for Dinos to start that way. Um, I'm not sure. It didn't seem like either player was siding very long. And Iriuk, that might be game right there, to be honest with you. Um, actually, maybe not. Um, he normal summons Whiptail. Um, he may just activate <laughs> Dryden. He may just activate that grass looks greener. Um, Ghost Ash is not, or Ash Blossom. I'm not seeing any light swims. I'm not seeing any light swims at all. That looked like Zodiac, 60 cards, Zodiac, Kaiju. That's what that looked like. Um, with Lone Fire Blossom to search um, the Predator Plant, draws a card. Um, with Lone Fire Blossom to search Predator Plants, to search Brilliant Fusion, to get an extra normal summon. With I mean, he probably still runs the Bujin, the Bujin monster that mills five. He probably still runs that because it is a sixty-card deck. Um, he should have summoned Dryden first though, because he would have gotten more mill. Um, he's got to be thinking about those things. <laughs> um, so Iriuk does have at least one fairy tale alive. I remember seeing at least one. It could have been more, but I, I only remember seeing one. He probably has hand traps, but I didn't see a mill any hand traps. I did see a mill in Imperial Order, which could be very alive. Um, but anyway, Obi Raptor is going to add Baby Sarasaurus. Cloud Strife is taking that long look into what grass milled. I think we saw, I think I saw another of that grass got milled as well. I'm having a, I feel like I have a difficult time, like, not instinctively saying the OCG names of these cards. Like, um, 
lawn mowing next door and um and like tree toad um and there was another card as well uh but anyway so, stuff is happening stuff stuff is happening uh lithogasm comes out um popping baby Cerasaurus and the megalo smasher um I think this is kind of why we've been seeing Mega Smasher not really in that many versions of this deck. Um, because it is just a normal monster. He doesn't really do a whole lot other than be fodder um, for Rescue Rabbit, uh, potentially Baby Sarasaurus to make Totally Awesome. Which Totally Awesome is a super strong card, but um, is it worth it running Mega Smasher for that? So we're seeing Fairy Tail come out. Hmm. Ooh, a Max C got milled. Um, but she's gonna flip. She's gonna flip over that third face down. Miscellaneous Source is going to be chained to that to stop. All dinos from being affected by activated effects, and Dryan's going to change to that to destroy Obi Raptor, which I don't agree with at all. Because now you're definitely going to lose your Dryden. See that? <laughs> which I guess it worked though. I guess what do I know? Um, because probably what Cloud Strife was worried about was yeah, he can out the Fairy Tail this turn, but maybe his hand just wasn't strong enough to deal with Fairy Tail like later on. <laughs> In later on situations, I don't know. Other than that, I honestly couldn't tell you because he seemed like he had the biggest monster on the field. Like in Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh, he was winning. So I'm not 100% sure why he didn't just continue to go on. His hand must have actually been super bad. So both players are doing pretty extensive uh, siding this time, and we are going to see duel numero three. Winner of this gets all the cookies in the world. That's a good cookie. That'd be nice though. That'd be a great prize. I probably said that prize because I'm hungry. <laughs> um so Cloud Strife 189 is gonna try to start this duel the same way he started duel number one, because if he can, it's gonna be quick quick mincemeat of Eriox 60 card Zodiac deck. <laughs> Zodiac Kaiju Predator Plant Speedroid deck. With fairy tales in there. That's technically an archetype too, because there's f like five fairy tales. <laughs> so consistent. It's just so consistent, man. You see, Dragonic. I mean, obviously not that consistent because Cloud Strike breaks pretty hard last duel, but um, Dragonic Diagram is activated. It's going to pop. Okay. It's gonna pop the true king itself. Wow. So Cloud Strife either I mean that's odd. I didn't anticipate that at all. <laughs> I I did either um obviously Cloud Strike has no little dinosaurs. He has no like baby Sarasaurus or the other one. Um He's going to get the water one. What does the water one do in his special? Um, and if you do, you can banish up to two spells and traps. Um, he's going to summon out True King using Missing Swords and the other, uh, the water one. I believe when the water one's destroyed by a card effect, he can special summon from the graveyard. From the deck. This one special summons from the graveyard. This one adds. This one special summons from the graveyard. Yes, there we go. Okay, so the because I knew they all did something uh, cool. What's going on here? Is uh, what's going on here? Uh, well, anyway, the, what I was about to say is the fire one at the graveyard. Is that banished? Yeah, it's banished. Oh, okay, it's banished. The fire one asked in the graveyard. This. The Earth one specials from the graveyard, the water specials from the deck, all very relevant. I thought for sure VFD was coming out. Maximum Crisis is legal. Oh, that's right, there are zombies in here too. Um, that's right, it's, it's Zodiac, 60 card, zombie, kaiju, speedroid, protoplant, 
brilliant. Anything else you want. And Serena Sage. Is Sage is her OCG name? I guess it's solid there, the more you know. Um, <laughs> she's going to be met with a warning. The barrage is going to be activated, and Cloud Strife is just going to scoop off of the barrage. I'm not sure why he didn't make VFD in that situation. Actually, he was trying to figure out why he didn't make VFD either. Um, but anyway, that's all she wrote. Um, Yurok also had Institute in his hand. Um, click that like button, click that subscribe button, but most importantly, have a great day. Cause great scenes might be great, but I love your bloopers and perfects for the urgent, baby I want